Hello children. Yesterday we have studied about number system, place value, face value and ordering of number. I hope that you all have understood. Today I am going to continue first problem which is based on four operations of whole numbers. Let's continue. Now let's continue exercise 1.2 question number 1. A book exhibition was held for four days in a school. The number of tickets sold at the counter on the first, second, third and final day was respectively 1094, 1812, 2050 and 2751. Find the total number of tickets sold on all the four days. In question number 1, we have given number of tickets which are sold for four days and we have to find total number of tickets sold on all four days. Before starting this question, I take an example. Suppose I have brought two books of Rs. 520 and Rs. 350. So, how much amount did I spend? How we will find? For finding this, we have to add. Now, we, in this question, we write it as Number of tickets sold on first day, that is 1094. Number of tickets sold on the second day, that is 1812. Number of tickets sold on the third day that is 2050. Number of tickets sold on the final day that is 2751. For finding total number of tickets sold on all the four days, we have to add these all number of tickets that is 1094 plus 1812 plus 2050 plus 2751 and we get 7707. Now, let's continue. Question number 2. Shekhar is a famous cricket player. He has so far scored 6980 runs in test matches. He wishes to complete 10,000 runs. How many more runs does he need? In this question, we have given Shekhar has scored 6980 runs, but he wished to score 10,000 runs. So, how many more runs did he score to complete 10,000 runs? Before starting this question, I take an example. Suppose I have 100 rupees and I want to buy a book of rupees 150. So, how much amount do I need to buy? For finding this, we have to subtract 100 from rupees 150. In a similar manner, we will continue this question. So, we write it as Shekhar has scored, that is, 6980 runs. Total number of runs is equals to 10,000 runs. Therefore, total number of runs this day I need that is equals to 10,000 minus 6980 is equals to 3,020 runs. Students, now next two questions are related to previous questions. So, I am giving you as a homework, try to solve them. Here, we will study about the formation of the greatest and the smallest number. We can do it by two ways. First, without repetition of the given digit and second, with repetition of the given digit. First, we will discuss about without repetition. In this case, to form the greatest and the smallest number by using the given digits, we arrange the given digits in descending and ascending order respectively. Now, let's we understand with an example. Write the greatest and the smallest number by using the given digits that can be formed by using the digits 6, 9, 5, 3, 4, 8, 2 without repetition of the digit. For finding the greatest number, we have to arrange the given digits in descending order. Then we get 9, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. And for getting a smallest number, we have to arrange these similar digits in ascending order. Then we get a smallest number that is equals to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9. Second, with repetition of the given digit. In this case, to form the greatest and the smallest number, we select the greatest and the smallest digit from the given digit. And then repeat these digits to form the numbers. Now, let's understand with an example. For example, write the sixth digit, greatest and the smallest number that can be formed by the digits 9, 3, 7 and 4 with repetition of the digits. Now, first question arises in your mind 
that is we have given only four digit but we have to find six digit greatest and the smallest number so let's understand with an example for finding the greatest number firstly we have to select greatest digit that is 9 now we will repeat 9 three times because apart 9 we have already given four three more numbers that is 3 7 and 4 then we get the greatest number that is triple nine seven four three now for finding the smallest number we have to select smallest digit that is 3 so in a similar manner we will repeat 3 3 times and apart from 3 we will write next 3 numbers that is 4 7 9 in ascending order so we get a smallest number that is triple three four seven nine question 5 find the difference between the greatest and the least number that can be written using the digits 6 2 7 4 3 each only once this question is based on our previous slide we have given five digits and we have to use each digit only once so for finding the greatest number we will arrange the digits in descending order and for smallest number we will arrange the digits in the ascending order so we write it as given digits equals to 6 2 7 4 3 and greatest number equals to 7 6 4 3 2 and least number is equals to 2 3 4 6 7 for finding the difference we have to subtract 2 3 4 6 7 from 7 6 4 3 2 then we get an answer that is equals to 52,965. Question 6. A machine on an average manufactures 2,825 screws a day. How many screws did it produce in the month of January 2006? In this question, we have given number of screws manufactured in a day and we have to find total number of screws in January month. Before explaining it, I take an example. Suppose the cost of a toy is rupees 50 and we have to find the cost of 5 toys. For finding this, we have to multiply 50 with 5. In the similar manner, we will solve this question. Now, we will write, write it as number of screws manufactured in a day that is equals to 2825 and we know that we have 31 days in January month. That means for finding number of screws manufactured in January month, we have to find number of screws manufactured in 31 days. That is equals to 31 multiplied by 2825, which is equals to 87,575 screws. A merchant had rupees 78,592 with her. She placed an order for purchasing 40 radio sets at rupees. 1200 each. How much money will remain with her after the purse? For solving this question, we will use the concept of previous question. In this question, we have given cost of each radio set equals to rupees 1200 and number of radio equals to 40. For finding the cost of 40 radio sets, we have to multiply 1200 with 40. Then we get cost of 40 radio sets equals to 48,000. In the starting, a merchant had rupees 78,592, from which he, she has already used 48,000 for purchasing the 40 radios. So now, how much amount will she remain? We will find it by subtracting 48,000 from 78,592, and we will get 30,592 rupees, which is the remaining amount which she has with her after the purchasing the radio sets. Question number 8. Our student multiplied 7236 by 65 instead of multiplying by 56. By how much was his answer greater than the correct answer? In this question, by mistake, our student multiplied 7236 by 65 instead of 56. And we have to find the difference between correct answer and wrong answer. For this, firstly, we will find correct answer by multiplying 7236 by 56 and wrong answer by multiplying 
सेवन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड थर्टी सिक्स बाई सिक्सटी फाइव नाउ फॉर फाइंडिंग द डिफरेंस वी हैव टू सब्टेक्टेड इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव यूज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ मल्टीप्लीकेशन ओवर सब्टशन विच आई एम मैंशनड इन नोट इफ वी हैव ए इन टू बी माइनस ए इन टू सी इन दिस वी हैव टू टर्म्स फर्स्ट टर्म ए इन टू बी एंड सेकेंड टर्म ए इन टू सी इन बोर्ड टर्म्स वी हैव अ कॉमन डेट इज ए सो वी विल टेक इट एज कॉमन एंड रिमेनिंग टर्म्स वी विल राइट इन ब्रैकेट विद सब्टशन साइन एंड देन वी गेट ए इन टू ब्रैकेट बी माइनस सी नाउ कम्स टू द क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू टर्म्स फर्स्ट टर्म सिक्सटी फाइव इंटू सेवन फिफ्टी सिक्स इंटू सेवन टू थ्री सिक्स एंड इन बोथ टर्म्स वी हैव सेवन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड थर्टी सिक्स इज कॉमन सो वी विल टेक इट कॉमन दैन वी हैव गॉट सिक्सटी फाइव माइनस फिफ्टी सिक्स इंटू सेवन टू थ्री सिक्स डैट इज इक्वल्स टू नाइन इंटू सेवन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड थर्टी सिक्स एंड डैट इज इक्वल्स टू सिक्सटी फाइव थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फोर In this slide, we have a table of conversion one unit to other, which you have already studied in your previous class. This conversion we will use in further question. Question number nine: To stitch a shirt, two meter fifteen centimeter cloth is needed. Out of forty meter cloth, how many shirts can be stitched, and how much cloth will remain? In this question, we have given. cloth required to stitch a shirt that is 2 meter 15 cm and total length of cloth which is equals to 40 meter and we have to find number of shirts can be stitched before explaining it i take an example suppose a girl has 40 chocolates and she distributes two chocolates to each student then how many students in her class we will find it by division in a similar manner for finding the number of shirts we have to divide the terms we have given two units first unit 1 meter and second unit is centimeter so we have to convert either meter into centimeter or centimeter into meter by using the relation 1 meter equals to 100 centimeter for conversion of meter into centimeter we have to multiply the term by 100 now we write it as total length of the cloth is equals to 40 meter For the conversion of meter into centimeter, we will multiply forty with hundred, and we will get four thousand centimeter. Next, cloth needed to stitch a shirt, which is equal to two meter fifteen centimeter. In this term, we have two units: first unit meter and second unit centimeter. So we convert meter into centimeter, and for conversion, we have to multiply by hundred. Two into hundred plus fifteen. That is equals to two hundred fifteen centimeter. Now, for finding the number of shirts stitch, we have to divide four thousand by two hundred fifteen, and we will get eighteen as quotient and one thirty as remainder. Then, number of shirts that is stitch is equals to eighteen, and the cloth that will remain equals to one thirty centimeter. That means one meter thirty centimeter. students next three questions are related to previous questions so i am giving you as a homework try to solve them <laughs> 